Dakota Humane Society, Mandy Schaff is joining us from her home this morning to introduce us to the pet of the week. But first of all, Mandy, we're going to talk about Peaches, the pet that you have on your lap right now. Tell me a little bit about Peaches. Welcome, by the way. Thank you. So Peaches is a CDH, CDHS alumni. Okay. Uh, she or alum, alum, I guess is the <laughs> word. Um, and she insisted on being on TV with me today. Sure. Um, because she knows that she's adorable. Well, she and, wanted to show um, off that sweater. Yes, she she has many sweaters. <laughs> uh, it's very cold. It's very cold in North Dakota, sure. and Chihuahuas have very short hair. So she really needs to have you know multiple op options to wear um, to you know to make her the most fashionable Chihuahua that she can be. And she is she is <laughs> she is rocking it this morning, Mandy. There's no question. I'm going to ask you a generic <laughs> question about. Peaches and dogs in general, you open the door on a day like today for them to take their break and they probably look outside and go, uh-uh. Right. And especially if you have short leggers like yes. we have, <laughs> uh, we we pretty much spend most of our time shoveling for our dogs yep. more than ourselves. Yep. Because as you can see, I mean, we, we have a few other dogs that have their legs are a little bit longer and they're pretty they're pretty good about going out, but when it's cold like this, you know, if you expect them to go out, you really got to kind of shovel a path. Yeah. I mean, if they're up to their chest in, in snow, you sure can't expect them to go out and do their business without um, causing them some distress. Well, it'd be easy for Peaches or any dog like that, that with the shorter legs to get high centered. And it's like, seriously, what, what am I doing out right? here? All right. Let's yeah, talk exactly. about, yep. Let's talk about Qatar. Now, Qatar whole different kind of a dog as compared to Peaches. Tell us, give us a little bit of background on her. Although Katara, actually, she's a short haired dog, just like Peaches. So she is a Greyhound mix and she's about six years old. She's been out of the shelter for a bit. Um, she, she, when she came in, she was a pretty anxious little dog. Uh, she, I shouldn't say little, she's about a medium sized dog. And I would say she probably weighs about 35 to 40 pounds. Uh, Greyhound mix, you know, so she's got some some small, you know, slight bone structure. Mm -hmm. uh, and like I said, the short hair mixed, obviously, with something else. Um, but she is a sweet dog. She doesn't show well in her kennel. She's one of those that when you walk by her kennel, she's really anxious and she kind of jumps up and spins around and you know, most of the time it seems like people will walk by and think, oh, I don't know if I want to, you know, bring somebody like that into my home. But I really think, you know, from talking to the staff and talking to the volunteers, um, she is a sweet dog. She walks well. Uh, she, I think she would really, from what the volunteers have told me, would really bond nicely with someone. And she needs some attention and she needs a um, little bit of training. Again, she's a smart dog. She learns quickly. But uh, she just needs a chance. She's she is spayed. She's ready to go, and she's waiting for somebody, you know, the right person to come out and and see her and just say, hey, this is the one for me. It just seems like Katara would be uh, comfortable after a while, just in a in an environment where she's familiar. She gets to know the layout, the lay of the land, the family, and everything like that. And then maybe maybe some of that anxiousness goes away. Right. And that's what we've been working with her on, um, you know, giving her like some calming treats. And we have noticed that she's gotten a lot better. When she first came into the shelter, she had um, the most uh, kind of just ear splitting bark. She, it almost sounded like a human being screaming. And um, it was, you know, really kind of startling. But she has gotten over that. And um, so obviously she, you know, is starting to settle down and feeling a little bit better about her surroundings and about being at the shelter. So that's why we think that, you know, she really, she really would do well if she ran into the right family or the right person to, you know, to take her home and, and give her a permanent home. All right, Mandy, we're under a minute and you've got a big event coming up on the 25th of March, one of the biggest fundraisers of the year for you guys. Yes, it's called Benepet. And this year we have a county fair uh, theme. It's called Critter County Fair Benepet 2023. That's kind of a mouthful. Uh, it's on the 25th of March at the Bismarck Hotel and Conference Center. And it's going to be a really fun event. We've got some really fun raffles. We've got what we call a choice auction, a live auction. We're going to have a really nice buffet and starts at 5 p.m. Tickets are available on our website. And we'd love for people to um, come and support the shelter and just have a really fun evening.
Sounds like a great time. All right, Katara is up for adoption. Go out to the uh, shelter to take a look at her. Peaches is not up for adoption. I think you're going to hang on to her, right? Right, yeah, I think Peaches has to stay here with me. There you go, she's found her forever <laughs> home. Mandy, thank you for right. taking the time on a really blustery morning for joining us. We appreciate it, we'll see you next week. Sounds good, thank you. Thank you, Mandy.